Welcome to Dosta. I'm Romajin. Today we're gonna do another shit talking with the new guest Ochapa and Sheru. Let's go! <clears throat> Sheru and Ochapa, what do you think about UK leaving the EU? They already left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, but... talking after all. <laughs> yeah, they they left, but you were saying that uh, technically it's not. Well, yeah, technically the UK left the European Union. There's no way around changing that. The only problem is the things in place like regulations laws are not formalized yet to accommodate an exit from the european union so mm. if they do not come up with an agreement until the end of this year 2020 they might leave the european union without any regulations in place that means they will default to World Trade Organization regulations and United Nations regulations. That means a hard border in Ireland. That means border checks at any harbor in the UK that wants to have a ship out to Europe. And any train that wants to depart from London that wants to go to Paris, Brussels, or Amsterdam. Um... Mm. Four years ago, someone said it will be a shit show. Today we are here, 2020, and looking forward to a giant shit show. So that's very complimentary to shit talking. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, yeah, that fat fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, boring Johnson. Uh, boring Jones. No, he's not boring. He's full of fun. <laughs> like, oh, really? Okay. Uh, um, what's up, right? We're missing a Japanese guest. Dosta. So is that trouble for you guys? England is leaving European Union. No. Mm, trouble for us. Um, uh, from perspective of Europeans, uh, the UK leaving the European market is uh, inconvenient, at the least. Well, I mean, the it, Brits I come visit. Not for me, not for uh, I don't care about the economy, but for <laughs> for mm. the for a travel purposes. Now I need a visa to get there. Why the hell do you want to go to the UK now? You got friends? Nah, no, just just uh. Just for fun, no, not because... Uh, That's not a there. good reason to go to the UK right now. <laughs> well, there, there are lots of uh, touristic attractions there. Mm. Yes, yeah, so they have... Oh, yeah. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you, uh, yeah, you'll have a big deal in the UK. <laughs> yeah, well, there is a high percentage of building a business better than other, other countries in UK, so... In the UK? Why do... Yes. That's, that's really interesting. From a Dutch perspective, that you have more opportunities in the UK than any other European country. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's, Northern Europe. Uh, oh, Northern Europe in general, yeah. But uh, like the, the same thing with the um, immigration problem in the UK, in, in the European Union. It's like people get into Europe so they, they should be in a position like, fuck yeah, we're in Europe, and we can get like, apply for European visa, like, we should get European statuship, and we should get European, like, I, I'm, I'm a, a person who is trying to escape from my horror country, and I want to live in Europe. But then these mm. people are in Europe, and then they're still trying to get into the UK. I'm like, why? Like the green is the grass is not greener in the UK than anywhere else in Europe. So no, why the hell do you want to go to the UK? It's the UK is like a big magnet for people. I don't understand. No, because once once something gets locked down or difficult to access, then it becomes more valuable. It's like I um, doubt that because they're now less willing to go to the UK due to all the problems with 
the UK leaving the European Union. But that's a whole different mm. story. I mean, before the UK wanted to leave the European Union, you had these huge camps along the French border, trying people trying to get into the UK, like boarding lorries. Like it still happens now. Like the the Vietnamese people, like twenty Vietnamese people, were stuck in a container. They arrived in the UK. All mm. of them were dead. And I'm yeah. like, if you're in France. Like a, a nice country on average, not the best country, but a nice country. It has decent weather, decent people. And then you want to go to the UK where it's like shitty weather, bad food, and a country that wants to leave the single biggest market in the world. I'm like, why the hell do you want to go to the UK? What is the draw to the UK that other European countries do not offer? I'm really what? surprised about that. I really don't understand. Well, I am um, lost for words. Uh, or it's it's, it's uh, uh, b- 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 the accent. I like the English accent there. Accent? Mm. That's really shit talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's true. <laughs> you like the English accent? Okay. Yeah, I like, good like the, the Scottish like accent. Would you like a glass of water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I like the tea, tea time at five. Tea? Yeah. Uh, high tea? Yes, of course, yeah. my lady. I will provide you with high. <laughs> <laughs> I also like um, the, the MI7 ah, in Britain, house. in England. Also, they have cute you girls in England. You watch too much games on videos. Yeah? Romaji, uh, Masamurai, I, I now understand what you're saying. He likes any girl. He, any girl's cute. <laughs> I, get it, I get it. I get it. You, you know, know, I'm, um, I would call this like type of baseball, people like I me. Um, I am, uh, like, you know, unity Multi-task. gets democratized. Same as me. I'm, I'm a democratizing person. Yeah. If you so would, I like no, 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 you're everybody. not democratic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're really Italian, definitely. <laughs> we're not talking about Italy, and we're not talking about love. We're talking about the UK leaving the European Union. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. <sighs> what? There is no love from the European Union towards the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's well, like the only you, piece if... of love advice we want to give them is like, please come to your senses. But then again, it's, it's too like late. It's... it's like it's like it's the same thing as a uh, international uh, romantic relationship. So you have been together mm-hmm. as a European with a British girl, and then after how much? Then thirty years of marriage, she says, "No, I don't want to stay with you anymore. I'm just gonna be independent and I'm gonna think about my economy." Well, no. Fuck you. Mm. I'm the European. She is a British. So she's not going to be dependent on me anymore. Yeah. So she wants to find her own job and... Mm. Same. Yeah, but but then not realizing that she will give up the house, she will give up the uh, current job because she has to move Places, so she can't have the same job again. <laughs> Otherwise, she has to too far. But, uh, that means that she won't get awesome sex at night. That means she won't be um, having any travel benefits because she work for the same company. She will be kicked out of her own social security because your security from work no longer works anymore. She will be removed from your own insurance deposit because so you can't access that anymore. That means her bank account is split in half. That's not not work either anymore, still have options. Um basically she's screwed and this is a relationship not about love. I know. Well the UK oh, doesn't love European Union. Yeah it's about money. Uh. So even though all the warning signs says you should stay with the EU because big money to be made, the against all good advice left the European Union. That's indeed very 
romantic. <laughs> I don't know. The reason why they end up like that is because they follow the Trump politics. And now... Mm, I think they follow their dreams, and their dreams are made of unicorns. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like this entire, like, five years ago, everyone said, ooh, it's Project Fear. Like, oh, you're trying to scare the UK into not choosing until you leave the European Union. And now, five years later, it's 2020, we have realized that it's actually Project Reality. Like, all the things we talked about in the past, they actually came into fruition, and now we're stuck with this giant mess. Like the Trust unsolved me. issue in Northern Ireland, the unsolved issue with the border checks, the unsolved issue with all Britain, the financial Britain, England institutions. never wanted to leave. I mean, it, it, British people never wanted to leave uh, England, in my opinion. So they just, England? some teenagers said they, they just didn't want to put the wrong cross on the wrong boat just because they didn't know what they were doing. And now they ended up <laughs> dividing the, the, the country, the Europe. Dosta. Yeah, then conclusion, please. Conclusion. Fanculo. <laughs> Fanculo. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> it's shit talking after all, it's fanculo. Fanculo, <laughs> completely fanculo. Uh, they should never have voted leave. I got a, um, a good question for you. What are your predictions in 10 years? What will happen to the UK? UK? Yeah. In the upcoming uh, 10 years. Same thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe to our channel. See you in next video.